Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I am uh, Atau Rahman. I'm a professor of organic chemistry and I happen to be the chairman of the Prime Minister's National Sa Task Force on Science and Technology. Also, I'm co-chairing the Prime Minister's National Task Force on IT and Telecom. And the Prime Minister himself has formed a very exciting uh, uh, task force, which is the Knowledge Economy Task Force, which he himself personally chairs and I am the vice chairman. And this happens to have about half a dozen federal ministers as members, including the ministers of finance, planning, education, science, IT, etc. And a large number of exciting projects worth over a hundred billion rupees have been in, in, initiated. Uh, let me just give you a glimpse of some of these exciting programs that are going on. Firstly, the Pakistan Austrian University of Applied Science and Engineering uh, is now functioning. This is one of the important projects that we have undertaken. And this is perhaps the first university in the world to have eight foreign universities which will be offering their degrees to Pakistani students. Three from Austria and five from China. It is also the first university in the world to have three different streams. One is the so-called Fachhochschule stream, which in Germany, these are high-level technology institutes which have bachelor's and master's programs. And students here will, uh, are being guided by our Austrian partners. Uh, then there is a second stream, which is a postgraduate research stream, which has uh, one Austrian and five Chinese universities involved. And then there is, uh, most importantly, uh, entrepreneurship and innovation stream, which is a large technology park with uh, venture capital funds, startup comes for, for new co companies. And the university will be judged not just by its research output, by, but by the number of international patents which are, uh, c which are developed and commercialized and the number of products and processes that are developed within the university. So it's the whole university is geared towards creativity, innovation and entrepreneurship. This university is now operational uh, in Haripur, which is about 50 miles or so from Islamabad. A second similar university is now under development in Sialkot. Uh, near Sialkot, a place called Samrial on the main motorway between Lahore and Sialkot. And uh, this again will have the same a model of uh, foreign partners and we have already got five foreign universities who have agreed to partner with this and there'll be more joining in. Uh, it's also the first university in the world in the, in the sense that uh, students in one department will get degrees from one foreign university and students in another department will get degrees from another foreign university. So a multiple degree, multiple foreign partnership model. Another very exciting program that we have begun is a scholarship program. Uh, this is for 13 billion rupees uh, to send our brightest students to the top 100 universities of the world for PhD programs. And uh, this program has already started also. A third major initiative of the Knowledge Economy Task Force is uh, a distance education program to expand high quality distance education across the country. Uh, because as we all know, there are excellent courses available through MOOCs, massive open online courses from Stanford, MIT, Harvard and other universities. And these will now be made available across Pakistan through the Virtual University Lahore, which in fact I had established when I was the chairman of the Higher Education Commission. And before that, when I was the Minister for Science, so it was set up. So they are going to take this distance education forward. There are a number of projects at school level which have also been initiated for providing technical uh, training for instance, One program is Metric Tech. Uh, in which in the last three years of the metric uh, programs for students they will be exposed to technical education so that they, when they pass out of their schools they will have some knowledge of uh, various uh, technical and vocational programs uh, in terms of uh, electrical engineering or mechanics or carpentry or other, other areas. Uh, <coughs> Another very important initiative that we have undertaken uh, is to establish centers of excellence in new and emerging technologies. So there are now centers of excellence which are being established in areas of artificial intelligence, next generation genomics, industrial biotechnology, energy storage systems and other such emerging technologies. According to a recent McKinsey Global report, there will be a hundred 
trillion dollar impact by 2025 of some of these technologies so pakistan can become a leader in some of these it's predicted that six there'll be a 16 trillion dollar impact of artificial intelligence alone and if you can capture one percent of that market that's a good 160 billion dollars annually so there's huge potential uh, we are setting up centers of excellence uh, for uh, mineral extraction mineral processing for bullet train manufacture for food processing technologies and for other such uh, important areas pakistan's future lies in its children about uh, 67 percent of our population of 220 million are below the age of 30. That is where uh, the future lies. And so if we want to move forward, we have to realize that uh, natural resources have diminishing importance. It's the quality of your human resources, your ability to unleash the creativity within your young, uh, it is, and to establish a strong knowledge-based economy. That is a way forward and that we, under the guidance of Prime Minister Imran Khan, are trying to accomplish. These, some of these programs are not widely known, but I hope that what I, whatever little I've said will contribute a little bit to create awareness of some of the wonderful work that is going on. And when you consider the f fact that the total budget of the Ministry of Science and Technology, the development budget, was 0 0.8 billion, less than 1 billion rupees just two years ago, now there are 100 billion rupees worth of projects which are being implemented, which, in, which indicates that there is a huge sea change that is now occurring. Uh, in the landscape of uh, higher education, science, technology and innovation in Pakistan. Thank you. Sir, there are three more things you yes. can add. Sure. You mentioned about the, the land behind Prime Minister's office, the right. bullet train and what you're doing in Karachi, sir. Right. Uh, uh, a university is being set up uh, in the land behind the Prime Minister's house. This will be focused in three very important areas. One will be in the field of microelectronics, one center of excellence. A second center of excellence will be in artificial intelligence and its ramifications. And a third center of excellence will be in aerospace engineering. And so there will be two campuses. One campus is uh, the one that I've mentioned, about 50 acres of land behind the Prime Minister's house in the center of Islamabad. But then we have taken another 220 acres of land on main Kuri Road, and that will be the larger campus of this university. Uh, we have also got, we are investing quite a bit in developing a world-class center of excellence in collaboration with two leading Chinese universities uh, in the field of uh, bullet train manufacture. Uh, China is now the most advanced in the world in the manufacture of bullet trains because they have been able to acquire the latest technologies from Germany, France, Japan and other countries and blended them into uh, some of the finest trains available. And so we have uh, set up we are setting up this center of excellence in collaboration uh, with the leading universities in China in this field and this again would provide Pakistan uh, with a wonderful opportunity just as we are setting up a center for minerals Pakistan has a huge amount of mineral wealth uh, including some rare elements which are used in electronics and other industries uh, but uh, we have not made, made full use of them so we would like to develop the manpower so that we don't have to rely on foreigners to come in and extract the ore and take everything away, we will be able to do this ourselves. In Karachi, we have a very large center, which is the International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences, in which I am involved. I've spent all my life, most of my life here, in this center, and it has evolved into a very fine institute. It is the UNESCO Center for Excellence in the region. It is the WHO Center of Excellence. It is the TWAS, the World Academy of Sciences Center of Excellence in the region and also the OIC Center of Excellence in the region. It has uh, more than 25 different uh, buildings and departments, including uh, the Center for Chemical Sciences and the HEJ Research Institute of Chemistry, the Center for Molecular Medicine and Drug Research, a Center for Genomics, a Center for Virology, the first national center for virus research, virology, where we have been doing studies on COVID-19. Uh, the first center for uh, genomics research, which I have set up in my father's name uh, through my personal donation, Jamilu Rahman Center for Genomics Research, we have been, where we have been looking at the structure of uh, COVID virus and its mutations. We have a bioequivalent center where we, we, where we have been doing uh, the uh, uh, clinical trials on some of the vaccines 
that were coming, for instance, the Sinopharm vaccine, which was used uh, in Pakistan, in the clinical trials were done in my institute. Uh, similarly, we have set up a nanotechnology center, the first in the country. This is again a huge emerging area. We also have joint partnerships with China to set up a center for hybrid seed production. Pakistan does not produce in its own hybrid seeds for vegetables or for rice. These are imported largely from China. So we have joined hand with China's largest facility, which is the CNRRI, China National Rice Research Institute. And we have set up a center there for seed production. I'm mentioning China and Austria because I happen to have received the highest awards from both China and Austria. Uh, so I have very good relations with these countries and China is now an emerging giant and they are very very willing to cooperate with us and so we have more than 20 centers of excellence coming up with China uh, and many collaborations have already begun for which I was greatly honored to receive the highest Chinese award from President Xi Jinping uh, last year in January, their International Science and Technology Collaboration Award. So exciting things are underway, the winds of change are blowing inshallah and we all have to help the present government, uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan and his vision uh, so that we can move forward quickly on the road to developing a strong technology-driven knowledge economy. Thank you. Thank you, uh, gentlemen. You just heard from uh, no other than uh, legendary, mashallah, mashallah, may Allah give him long life, long health. Uh, best of health, Dr. Atau Rahman. He did not mention, he's very humble in his institute in Park Karachi, there are more than 600 PhD uh, students being uh, trained every year. They're qualifying. No, which are enrolled in enrolled. the institute. 600 PhD candidates enrolled. That's a huge number. But anyway, this is uh, Ahmad Azam. I just had the great opportunity to spend some time uh, with Dr. Atau Rahman. Just signing off right now.